Do you know Cecil the Lion? I don't think they know the Cecil the Lion. Do you know of Cecil the Lion? No. I know Cecil the Lion. I, I read him. I read about him in the newspapers. Um, but I can't. I, I, if, if at the moment I, I haven't got the money to, to go and do in the in our parks to have a, a, a look at uh, the, the animals in the park. Okay. Zimbabwe has always had a very good um, protection uh, law, which dates back to the 70s. I think it's the 1975 Act, which allowed for wildlife uh, to be protected in this country, in national parks, safari areas private game reserves, and in 1989, it was extended to communal lands. The success of Zimbabwe can be attested by the presence of the big five, for example, in this country. Most countries have lost the big five, but in Zimbabwe we still have them. So that's a measure of success. The other measure of success is that these areas have remained pristine and protected, whereas in other countries they are now what we call paper parks. They only exist uh, in, uh, in name and on paper, but if you visit them, you see a lot of settlements, a lot of cattle, goats, sheep, and even, uh, uh, even uh, uh, non-productive, non-conservation activities taking place in those areas. But with us, we have uh, maintained those protection. So there has been, uh, of late, issues of uh, poaching with poison, like the elephants, and the recent uh, 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 poaching of uh, Cecil the lion. This uh, I can attribute to poachers becoming more sophisticated than for example, the time we were, when I was uh, uh, running parks myself, we never thought of uh, anybody poisoning animals so that they can avoid detection. We also never thought of uh, uh, professional hunters luring animals out of parks in order to kill them. It was not heard of. But what has happened uh, of late probably is because of the uh, uh, you know, economic situation, desperation by people wanting to get a quick buck, and uh, as a result, they are carrying out an ethical means of uh, poaching, which uh, we didn't have before. The covering that has been given to the to Cecil the lion, in my opinion, should be converted into a positive. Because people all over the world now know that Zimbabwe still has lion in its, in, in its parks, that Zimbabwe still has such big lions. And therefore, most tourists who really, really love to see wildlife will be flocking to Zimbabwe for the opportunity to see lion in our country. On the other hand, if the, there is no coverage about such a beautiful lion, people would never know about it. So I would like to take it as a positive uh, aspect. Of course it is bad that the animal was killed, but it is dead. Why not get money out of it in its death? Yeah. The Zimbabweans uh, are not familiar with what is happening. For, firstly, it's because of uh, our marketing strategy. We tend to market our country outside first before we market to our own nationals. I believe the, the nationals must be exposed to parks, to protected areas, to safari areas, to outdoor recreation, so that they understand what is happening. It is said to, to, and to know that an American child is talking about Cecil the lion killed in Zimbabwe and putting uh, uh, flowers at the uh, surgery of the doctor who is supposed to have killed it. And yet our own children are taking 
life and business as usual. I think our own children should be the first to be concerned before the American child. But how does it come about? It comes about through exposure, through education, and through understanding the value of wildlife in our country.